all future engineers welcome to my youtube channel if you're still new to my channel and you like what i am doing please don't forget to share my videos to your friends and to your friends friends and of course if you haven't yet subscribed please subscribe that's the only way you can keep me going and refreshed and this is uh, tiring work but if you do your share that will energize me so thank you in advance by Casigliano's second theorem, determine the vertical displacement of joint A due to the following effects, due to the loads alone, due to the combined effects of the loads, and if member AB is fabricated 5 mm too short, due to the combined effects of the loads, and if members AB and BC undergo temperature increase of 30 degrees Celsius, and beta is 11.6 times 10 to the negative 6 per degree centigrade. Then letter D, due to the combined effects of all mentioned conditions above. The cross-sectional area of AE and DE is 750 mm square, while the rest of the members have areas of 500 mm square. Modulus of elasticity, 200 gigapascals, and here is the given figure. So because we have to apply Casigliano second theorem, we have to apply an upward force P at A. This is almost simil this is similar to virtual work method. We apply one unit load upward, and we use the general formula one times delta equals summation of U D L for uh, virtual method, vir virtual work method for Castellanos theorem summation of s partial of s with respect to p l over ae and for virtual work summation of s u l over ae so it's the same except that u in virtual work is partial of s with respect to p in casigliano second theorem so due to load uh, due to fabrication error one times delta equals summation of u dl in virtual work method while in Castigliano's theorem 1 times delta or simply delta is equal to summation of partial of s with respect to p to replace u times dl where dl is positive for too long error fabrication error and for this case negative for too short fabrication of the member. So first we consider joint A summation forces y equals zero. By the way, the slope is so the length of BE is 1.2 half of 2.4, and this is 2.4, so 1, 2 square root of 5. That's the slope of AE, DE, and CE. So these are the assumed forces in tension. So at A, some forces y equals 0 as AE times 1 over square root of 5 plus P minus 4.45 equals 0. So SAE is equal to 9.9505 minus square root of 5P. Then summation forces X at joint A, quantity SA, SAB plus 9.9505 minus square root of 5b times 2 over square root of 5 equals 0. So SAB, which is equal to SBC, is equal to negative 8.9 plus 2p. Then we proceed to join E, summation forces x, 0. By the way, SBE, summation forces y at joint B is 2.225. It is a constant, so it's Contribution is zero later. I will also show this in the tabulation. Although it's you may ignore it because it is not a function of P. Then at joint E, summation forces X S D E times two over square root of five plus S C E times two over square root of five then equals S A E. 9.9505 minus square root of 5p times 2 over square root of 5. Cancelling out 2 square root of 5 common to all terms. So SDE plus SCE equals 
9.9505 minus square root of 5b. Call that equation 1. Then summation forces y equals 0 sde times 1 over square root of 5. Vertical component of this minus sce times 1 over square root of 5. Then equals quantity 9.9505 minus square root of 5b times 1 over square root of 5 plus sbe which is 2.225 downward. So combining sde minus sce or multiply everything by square root of 5 is 14.926 minus square root of 5b. Then we can now solve sde if we add equations 1 and 2. So SDE equals 12.48 minus square root of 5B. Then SCE would be substitute in equation 1. SCE is negative 2.4875. So it is a constant. It's a function. It's not a function of P. So you may ignore this. But I will show P, E, and C, E in the tabulation. So we have member, then the force in kilonewtons, partial of S with respect to P, the length in meters, and the product S, partial of S with respect to P times length. So take note that members A, E, and D, E, the cross-sectional area is 750, and the rest 500. So for AB, the stress or force is negative 8.9 plus 2P. Partial derivative is 2. The length is square root of equal to AE and AB, sorry, 2.4. Then the product, take note that P is invented, so this is 0. Negative 8.9 times 2 times 2.4 is negative 42.72. So I mark this with blue because that's member AB. And we will mark AE and DE with a different color coding. Next is member AE, which is this. So 9.9505 minus square root of 5B, partial derivative negative square root of 5, then the length is square root of 2.4 square plus 1.2 square, and that is 1.2 square root of 5 meters. Then the product P0 is negative 59.703. That's member EE where the area is 750, so that's the color. Next is member BE, 2.225. Then partial derivative with respect to P0, the length 1.2, so the product 0. It's blue also. The next is CE, negative 2.4875, partial derivative 0, length 1.2 square root of 5, but the product is 0. Then member DE. 12.48 minus square root of 5b. The partial derivative negative square root of 5. So because p is 0, by the way, the length of de is 1.2 square root of 5. So product except this 12.48 times negative square root of 5 times 1.2 square root of 5. And its color should be the same as this. Because AE and DE have the same areas, cross sectional areas. So negative 74.628. Then lastly, for member BC, it's the same as AB. So negative 8.9 plus 2P, partial derivative with respect to P2, length 2.4. So product is the same, negative 42.72. So therefore, the vertical displacement at A due to the loads is equal to common is 1000 square we have to multiply that by 1000 square over e 200,000 quantity negative 85.44 over area 500 
plus negative 134.31 over area 760, where negative 85.44 is the sum of negative 42.72 and negative 42.72. And negative 134.331 is the sum of negative 59.703 and negative 74.628. Then in MM, the vertical displacement at A due to the loads alone is negative 1.750 mm. So that's the downward uh, deflection. Then we proceed to compute the effect of fabrication error in member AB alone, then let's combine it with this lo loading uh, deflection. So let's have the tabulation earlier as our guide. So we have member, partial of S with respect to P. So in virtual work method, this is U and DL. So we have AB partial derivative is two for member AB alone. This is only the member that is fabricated 5 mm too short. So DL is negative 5 in mm. Therefore, uh, the product DS partial derivative of S with respect to P or UDL is, this is the formula, partial 1 times delta equals summation of UDL in virtual work in Castellano's second theorem is like 1 times delta equals summation of partial of S with respect to PDL. So delta A is due to fabrication error is 2 times negative 5, so negative 10 mm. This and this. So the vertical displacement at A due to the effects of the load and fabrication error due to the load negative 1.75 and due to fabrication error negative 10 so therefore it is equal to negative 11.75 mm next due to load and temperature changes delta t is positive 30 degrees celsius so there are two members subjected to temperature changes namely so partial of S with respect to P, beta L, delta T, and the product of partial of S with respect to P, beta L, delta T in mm. So in virtual work, it is summation of U, DL, where U is in Casiglianos partial of S with respect to P, and DL is beta L, delta T in mm. So it's this product here due to temperature alone. So, take note that beta is 11.6 times 10 to the negative 6 per degree Celsius. And length of members involved are, the length is 2.4 meters or 2,400 mm for members A, B, and B, C. So, for A, B, it is partial derivative is 2. So, beta is 11.6 times 10 to the negative 6 times length 2400 in mm, delta T 30, so it is 0.8352 mm. Then the product 2 times 0.8352 is 1.6704 mm. Then for member BC, it's the same, 2.8352, then 1.6704. So therefore, delta A vertical due to temperature alone is equal to times 2 of this or add these values so 3.3408 mm then the combined effects due to load and temperature would be equal to negative 1.75 plus 3.3408 so it is equal to 1.5908 mm then for the last due to the combined effects of all sources so due to all effects so for the load negative 1.75 for fabrication error negative 10 and for uh, temperature change increase 3.3408 so the net Deflection at a vertical deflection is 
due to all sources is negative 8.4092 mm. So that's it and I hope you were able to follow the solution and the explanations.